Hello there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about... <clears throat> Sorry for that. Today I want to talk about uh, something a bit different. Something uh, something recent actually. I might be a bit slow when it comes to responses and commentary because I'm not used to making this kind of content and I'm definitely going to have to work hard to actually make something valuable. Um, yeah. That being said, I want to talk about the recent mystery box thingy. Boom! If you are watching this video right now, then that means you love surprises. But today, I kind of want to switch it up a little bit, do something different, so me and Mystery Brand actually teamed up, if you don't know. Better, better to say, um, if you don't know, recently, the infamous uh, Jake Paul... Brown eyes, mother... And uh, also Rice Gum have partnered with a website called mysterybox.net, which provides basically loot boxes. There's this thing on the internet called mystery boxes. You buy them, you don't know what's gonna be in them, they come to your house. Basically it's a site that has a ton of these like random mystery box, like right here he has like a Yeezy and Supreme and like technology, like smartphone one. I don't know, I guess you buy a mystery box, you open it and you get like one random either dope item or bad item. It's but with real life items, so to speak. Uh, so so it's, it's like a website which provides a mystery box which you open and you get a random item which will be delivered to your uh, address provided you give them one <laughs> um, now I don't have the commentary skills of other people like uh, for example Leon Lush which I respect a lot and I love his style of humor uh, I haven't watched his video on this subject but I'm sure I'm gonna fucking enjoy that this is really a problem. <laughs> wow, I just stated the obvious, didn't I? Yeah, so um, I was thinking about talking about this. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, covering it or not covering it. It's, it's a pretty big subject and uh, with an obvious answer, gambling is fucking wrong, especially when marketed to people, people, uh, well, children. <laughs> which is obviously what Jake Paul and Ricegum are doing. Uh, they are not the only YouTubers that have been uh, partnering up with this uh, website, but I was uh, on the internet randomly and uh, I decided ch to check out PC Gamer if there are any articles, interesting articles I, I should read and um, uh, I stumbled about, uh, you know, I stumbled upon uh, this little gold mine of an article. Litbox gambling and YouTubers team up to ruin 2019 as quickly as possible. Now, I'm not a big fan of mainstream game journalists, but I do like how, how, how this particular article is written, and I do appreciate their uh, opinion on this. Right, so... A website called Mystery Brand, which seemingly launched the last year, though may have been around longer under a different name, which is not at all, not at all a, a surprise, to be honest. Among others, Jake Paul and Ricegum have, have been promoting this site intensively. And uh, when you look into it, it's a pretty fucked up situation. How fucked up, you ask me? Well, let's just Google it. I don't have a screen recorder right now, I only record my games, so sorry for that. I will be trying to improve my recording, my videos, my videos. Just, just leave it at that. Don't want people to think you're truly a moron. Alright, so, smartphones, women's bags, hype shoes, hype women. Popular Light, Women Shoes, Pink World, Supreme X, Gaming Box, in quotation marks, Sissy Boy. I... <sighs> that one... That, that one's just... Fucked up. <laughs> it just is. There's... Several hints that this site is most probably a scam. 
Uh, first of all, the text on the page is fucking horrible. I mean, uh, look, I'm from East Europe, okay? Okay? I'm from Eastern Europe. My god, I write better than that. <laughs> um, it accepts payments from G2A Pay, which is owned by G2A, a sta- Steam key marketplace with a pretty bad reputation. Actually, it has a horrible reputation. Uh, PC Gamer just likes to put things mildly here. Um, I, I talked about them in my last commentary video. I suggest you go and check that out. It's it's a treat. It really is. And the thing is, the prices are heavily inflated. If you compare them to, you know, um, the prices on Amazon, for example, the prices on Mystery Box are way above those. Uh, those. And what the fuck was that word? Those. Remember, remember to, to, to not concentrate too much on how much I'm... Huh. Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. Um, for example, a PC gamer likes to give, give here an example which is pretty good because I don't have the energy or time or dedication to actually go and look up prices. Mystery Brand uh, values a Samsung 860 Evo 250 gigabytes SSD at 114.38 dollars, for instance, when it's actually 53 dollars on Amazon. So it's more than double the price. Um, yeah, and incredibly, it reveals the addresses of some of its supposed top winners, which is pretty fucked up when you think about it, because emails are one of the main gateways to hacking. As most of the people on the fucking internet already know. Captain Obvious here. Anyway, the last time something like this uh, happened, actually, was uh, back when the CSGO uh, scandal with the gambling sites and with the YouTubers actually owning your gambling sites occurred and yeah that that ended that ended marvelously for for the two involved it was uh it was a really really good experience for them i i i bet i bet anyway um from for all for some reason this site has even uh contacted keemstar and if you don't know who keemstar is you're so innocent my friend and you're so soon, not not so soon, you're so early in your internet journey because Keemstar is an, it's an old beast, an old and powerful beast. Many say he is immortal and will be forever because of all the, um, you know, protein shakes and shit. <laughs> he's selling anyway uh, <laughs> or at least his body will be not decaying because of all the chemicals anyhow uh, <laughs> oh boy hopefully Kimsa don't 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 come after me please I'm I'm no one uh, <laughs> anyway he says that he was offered a hundred thousand dollars a hundred K to promote the site um yeah yeah I suddenly understood, as I was reading this, why the hell you would promote a gambling site. Especially people like uh, Jake and Ricegum, who in the last few months have been losing views and have uh, losing basically income because of that, since uh, for some reason they probably get old or their audience gets older. Or the commentary community actually wakes up some people. You'd be surprised what 14 year olds watch sometimes. Other than that, apparently FTC regulations are being followed. Though that does nothing to address whether or not Mr. Brand is legal to operate at all or whether these YouTubers should be promoting Mr. Brand to their young audiences. Yeah, I don't think they should be. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a pretty good insight, uh, Mister. Who wrote this? Tyler Wilde. Yeah. Well, um, the simple fact that 
it allows payment through G2A pay should raise all the fucking red flags uh, if the fact that it's a fucking gambling site didn't. <laughs> because, you know, on, on a first glimpse, on a first glimpse, uh, doesn't look that bad. I mean, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's, it's fucking abhorrent that uh, two of the biggest YouTubers are promoting this to audiences that A, are fucking children and do not comprehend uh, what gambling is or how dangerous addiction is. This comes from someone who smokes cigarettes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Addiction is bad, man. <laughs> Uh, probably the most uh, the most generic uh, statement I've ever said in my entire fucking life. Yeah, yeah. So this this article was uh, was uh, an easy gold mine, and overall, this whole topic is pretty good for commentated commentators. It's a fucked up situation, and it's really. I mean, people should really look at this and think really well on on if if it if it's worth the money, because they are partnering partnering up for a large fucking sum of money. One hundred thousand dollars is not uh, is not a small amount. However, it's it's horrible that that. We have this, and it should be illegal. Loot boxes in any shape, way, or form should be illegal, in my opinion. Or at least this kind of stuff, this kind of shit, should be regulated heavily. Just like online poker sites are, just like uh, sporting bets sites are. Um, they should be heavily regulated and surveillance should be key because you don't want these uh, people profiting off uh, innocent young kids or people under a certain age, depending on the country, that's uh, different. Because, for example, in the States, it's 21. However, here in Romania, it's only 18. Uh, when you hit 18, you're pretty much allowed to uh, do everything that otherwise you couldn't. So yeah, that's pretty much my take on this. It's uh, it's disgusting, and I don't want to. I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. It just makes me it just makes me really sad <laughs> and depressed for some reason. Although it's it's a good time to punch up to them uh, big YouTubers because they lost their fucking way so bad and most big YouTubers have lost their way. That's a handful that are still doing ethical and, and morally good stuff and are not getting lost in their own fame or lost in the, the money and you know it's it's just a smaller scale celebrity syndrome, god syndrome. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I do get that they're desperate because their numbers are sinking, but still, it's not not okay, man. <laughs> it's not fucking okay. So yeah, with that lovely ending to this uh, little rant of a monologue, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and uh, have a nice day. <laughs> God, I can't, I can't pull, I can't pull acting for fuck's sake. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. <sighs> Get your shit together. <laughs> yeah, um, don't support this site, don't buy from this site, uh, and maybe don't even support the, the YouTubers who are promoting this site. If they do apologize, if they do realize that this is fucked up, then maybe they can get it. They can get through. Uh, we'll we'll say that their apologies are valid. Otherwise, uh, just fuck off. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, don't forget that is very important to write your stories in the annals of the internet. I've been Michael from Seconds and Stories, and I'll see you guys next time.